Hey guys, Head Dog here, and today my video is going to be the first war recap from the Three Star Storm clan that I am in with my Town Hall 9 account. And yesterday I had posted the war recap for the Town Hall, my Town Hall 8 um, Three Star Storm clan, and this one is the first for the uh, Town Hall 9 one. Ah, Alright, gotta find it, and here. So we won versus ZKY. It was a great war to everyone at Three Star Storm. We put up max stars except for Base One, who was a pretty much maxed out Town Hall 10. So very good job to everyone at Three Star Storm. And I'm going to show you a couple of replays from this war. So the first recap is from Wants, who's our number one guy. And he came in at this base with the five golem attack here. So he's going to start deploying up on this side of the base. Alright, so he sends down two golems, one of his own and one from the clan castle, followed up by a couple wizards and two wall breakers to break through that wall. And followed by four witches, king, and queen. He dropped the king a little early because he was headed for the spell factory, but luckily he had some wizards to take it out, and now he drops his last two golems coming in. Now, they kind of just came in the top anyway, so it would have been better to get them down earlier, because now the king's taking some hits here. It's not a big problem here. The lightning spell wasn't really all that useful. He didn't know that there was a dragon in the clan castle. Now everything's converging in towards the core. He's got the queen doing a lot of sniping, helping him out. A freeze on that inferno is going to let the queen keep doing some work. And he's got a bunch of two witches or three witches there helping him out. And the town hall is going to go down shortly. And he still has a bunch of golems on this left side. And golem there, which is going to die soon. And the queen and her ability left. Also three wizards. So he's going to be able to use these wizards down here and the queen to get to the 50%. And then it pretty much just wraps it up. For this raid. So that was a very good attack. It's really hard to three star these bases, but he did great with the two star on this base. And. Or he has two wizards, but he doesn't need to drop them. So that was that. Now I'm going to show you uh, Town Hall 8 hog attack here from Luke54. And he's going to be coming in at this base with a go-ho, a golem and a hog. So he starts by dropping a giant to tank for that point defense and a couple hogs to, to also get the CC lore. So he's going to be able to take out that point defense and get the clan castle lore, I think. He's, yeah, he well, he didn't get it there, but he gets it here. And he also luckily triggers a giant bomb. So now that the dragon has come out of the clan castle, he's going to lure it up to this top, the... Archers the anchor, ball up to the builder's hut. Then he's going to drop another archer for distraction, and then barbs for distraction, followed up by a couple wizards, as you'll see here. So barbs go in for distraction, a couple archers, and then two wizards on each side, and then that dragon will be down shortly. He's going to need to throw in a couple more wizards, but you gotta make sure that you kill the CC in a hog attack, very important. So now that that's all down, he's going to drop his golem to tank for over here, and his wizards and archers will do a little bit of work up here. And then he's going to send in his uh, hogs shortly. So wall breakers to break into that compartment. And then his king to also do some work and destroy a bunch of these buildings while the golem is tanking. And then here come the hogs on the bottom. He brought 16 hogs plus uh, 5 more in his clan castle for a total of 21 hogs. And then he's going to heal them when they need it. So right, you should probably drop one. I forget where he drops one, but it, he's better drop one soon. So he gets one there, healing pretty much all those hogs there, which is perfect. And he's, he's only used one. Heal spell, which is kind of surprising. I would have dropped the heals a little bit earlier, but he's, he is still going to be able to get to the third star. So he need he drops that last heal on the last group of defenses there, and he's got his king and kill squad of the wizards and archers still doing work, and he doesn't even need this heal spell, but he's going to use it because there's a giant bomb right there, I think. 
Yep, the giant bomb, so he's going to heal them all up, just in case there's another giant bomb that he runs into. So that was good, and then he uses his rest of his troops, and now it's just clean up for the king, wizards, and the hogs. So that was a great attack by Luke54, a nice hog attack on Town Hall 8. Alright, moving on to the next replay. The next replay was on base 7, done by Amin. It was a great attack, and this is a Town Hall 8 dragon attack. So first, Amin's going to zap one of the air defenses, or maybe he drops the drags first, I'm not sure, but definitely going to zap one of those air defenses. So he zaps that air defense right there. And then comes in with the dragons on this side over here. So, one in the corner and one on that dark elixir storage. Make sure you have to make the funnel with these dragons to make sure that they go right into the core of the base. So being very patient and not just spamming down the dragons is very important. Another drag coming in right there, and then now there's a pretty decent funnel, so he's, so he's going to drop the rest of the dragons in, and then his CC loons. So now everything's converging on the core, and it's very good that these balloons are coming, so they're going to help a lot. They're also going to take the tank for this air defense right here, which is going to help out a lot. And four dragons and the king are all converging right into this core. And none of these dragons have been touched yet because those balloons have been tanking for that air defense, which is really helpful. And we have a dragon up here taking out that Tesla. Town Hall goes down, two stars, and the three star looks um, promising right now. So he's got that dragon, which is going to come in, and I think, no, it doesn't take it out, but... He has other dragons left. He's got three dragons up there and two down there. Also, the king is going to... The king is really clutch in this raid, obviously, as you can see. The king's going to take out that air defense, and if he didn't, then these dragons would have been toast, and it wouldn't have been three stars. But good, great job to Amin with the king placement, getting it right into the core to take out that air defense. And the king dies. Luckily, this dragon is going to go up to that builder hut to save time, and now there's no defenses left, and it's just a matter of time for these dragons to go in and destroy the rest of the base. So dragons come in, and 99%, 3 stars, they destroy that base. So I don't know if I showed you in the beginning, but I did say that every base had been 3 starred except for base 1, so that was... How we did, and they didn't really do too well. They didn't use all their attacks, obviously. They only used 14 of their 30 attacks. We used 29 out of 30. I was two starred, unfortunately, but it was by their number one who had max troops, and I'm not a max town all 10, so he should have been able to three star my base, so that was okay there. And great job to everyone at Three Star Storm. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.